Fitzgerald. I'm Madeline. I'm Joe. Okay. I'm the only just full name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not alone. This is The Fiend's Review, and in this episode we review the Brian Clement film Meat Market. All right. Are you going to go through and try to say the story well, line? Uh, 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 story. There was story. There was a story. There was a story. I, I, I mean, I will give it. I will give it. It credit for many things. I will not give it credit for a story. I, I do find the film to be entertaining, but it has no story. It has n numerous characters. It's mm -hmm. a you're Very good. large scope film. Yes. Lots of, lots of actors, lots of locations, but it's mostly, for a good deal of the film, it's just little vignettes. Um, but the strength of the film is in its, once they are, once they are eventually established, its characters. Um, you have characters such as the Bounty Hunters, Argento, and... Chirac. Um, later we meet the lesbian vampires with laser pistols, which we have Nemesis, Tiamat, and Valerian. Valeria. Valeria. Just and warning before he gets through all the character names. Whoever named these characters, it sounds like something out of a really bad fan fiction that a 12 year old girl would do. No, I think it's yeah. more like a 12 year old boy. My name is Sapphire, Severine, <laughs> Rainbow Princess. I think it's a boy. I, or no, boy. This yeah, is, I this is a boy. male. Uh, this is more of a male fantasy film. This is more of a juvenile male yeah. fantasy. Screaming. <laughs> yes. You have Shrock, who is the epitome of cool. You have your strong action figurine type. Argenta, Ar, Argento, Argenta, uh, Argento. and then you simply have your lesbian vampires with lace. I mean, once you get to the lesbian vampires yeah, with like laser it. guns, you know it's a juvenile male fantasy. And then that to top, top that off, you have El Diablo Zul, the Mexican El Muche wrestler. Who talks the whole time like he's some type of who's panicked who's Italian dubbed. man. Who's poorly dubbed. Poorly dubbed. <laughs> So, but those, those are the most entertaining characters. There are many other characters in small vignettes through the rest of the film, but <coughs> they are not the pr we learn they are not the primary characters, even though some are reoccurring. Yeah, and there's really no payoff. Mm -hmm. Or there's a businessman who is having a business meeting with a bunch of corpses. Oh, that was the mayor. The mayor, and I guess that was supposed to be funny, but. It could have been, but his timing was off. And then there was a scientist. That was the that was the director's father. No offense to your father, you know, he's a good-looking guy. <laughs> he was somewhat humorous, but his timing just, you know, timing's everything. And there's a scientist who could have been Robert Victor, England. Victor, Victor Oppenheimer. Victor Oppenheimer. Of course, it's a damn German guy. Um, Oppenheimer like the tick. Of course, it's a German guy, and it could have been Robert England's brother. I think we're all. We all I, yeah, oh yeah, he I, looked a I, lot I, like Robert England. I, which I definitely saw I didn't that. pick up on that. No. Well, the first you the, confused him. One of you confused. I him confused with him with Ben Mayer, yeah, who looked like Ben Stein, who you thought was Ben Stein. So oh, we should probably mention, if not the story, what the setting is, and the setting is Fallout a Fallout Three. Okay. Zombie. Apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. But they're not zombies. They're Nanites. <laughs> they are zombies. They are nan they are zombies as the result of nanites of, of a science experiment gone horribly awry. Okay, um, in layman's term, you know the little bugs from Jason nanites? X. Basically, they tried to make the little bugs from Jason X. It went horribly wrong, and instead, the little bugs created these zombies. Or whatever the heck they're going to call them in this, which they didn't call them anything except for those things. They made a point of not saying the Z word. That have a hive mind. <laughs> kind of like in Near Dark, where they made a point of never saying vampire. This movie just ripped off a whole bunch of. Unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, when they don't say the word 
I am fine with them not saying the Z word, but when you can tell at some point characters struggle not, not to, to say, say the Z word. word. If we could just get away from those, if we could just get away from those things, things out there. <laughs> I think at one point it was like, oh no, those z z things are attacking. Yeah. Yeah. Walking cor then walking corpses. The walking or, corpses. Yes. The undead that give the undead the living. It, it was. It was yeah. phenomenal. And now in any dramatic scene, apparently you you do see. Oh, and there's a drinking game. You do see if you if you take a, if you take a shot every time you see a zombie in in a dress jacket, well, you're gonna be dead. In the zombies, <laughs> yeah. at first I thought, of course they're in dress jackets and they're in suits because they're coming out of graves. No, that is not the case. No. The zombie apocalypse hit at a men's like menswear men's warehouse. Yeah, and everyone was it was a suit sale. A suit sale. Suits. <laughs> Wait. A suit sale. Wait. Now the nanites were, the nanites were created to, like, do what they did in Jason X. Medical things. Well, you, in Jason X, they they built things. So they put they pieced um, things back together. Yes. But it, it made well, those... well, wait. What? What if? What if the nanites use? Okay, the zombies eat the flesh, and then they have matter in them, and the nanites convert that matter. Into suit jackets. You. <laughs> <laughs> what really doesn't make sense to me is there are zombies like under the ground, like, but every zombie has to have been a living person because it's a nanite. You so mean the, the, the zombies, zombies coming up oh, out of the ground at the end, unburied? Makes no, no. no sense at me. the end, yeah. in the climax. No, those were the zombies were lying in wait because the zombies were intelligent. They were Cause they, stealthy cause, zombies. Because we they. <laughs> They established there was a hive mind mentality. Those were the Navy SEALs of the zombies. Then they, oh, I collective must have. consciousness. They had the yes. collective consciousness because they were linked to the, the nanites. They needed to make All of this is, ex everything is explained in the film. So there's no question about it. Evidently, you have to pay real close attention yes. to have it explained because I think I was and like And you need this. to turn up the volume at a lot yeah. of points because... Or you got to turn it down at other points because it's either really quiet. What do they say? Oh, really loud. Like when they're shooting. Hold on. You know the. the I'll put in effects. You guys want to do this? Come on. The uh, the gun effects were, were good for yes. a, a movie that really good for good. being an independent, obviously. Oh, yeah. shot camera. I course. mean, this is an epic. This is an epic scope for a, a independent, uh, a first film, an independent film. Yes. <coughs> right. There were some cool shots. He did the story. Like in the beginning, there were two in particular, like one where. Um, it's where everything's just starting to go to hell, and they're panning, and like, they had the they had the camera in a car because it's the most steady. You see the camera moving, <laughs> and they're slowly going across, and you see these explosions, yeah. and you see people like running around, and all hell's breaking loose, and there's zombies. Well, that, there's that was original guns. footage. That was in stock footage. I know because no. they were filming the, the burning city. house. Yes, the burning house and the, the shots of the city. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. but the the long panning shot, yeah. There's other nice it was shots. Was city? It actually looked like Syracuse. There's other nice shots. Yeah, it did look like Syracuse. Because um, because you know you know the zombies are intelligent because it, when the zombies want to make a dramatic entrance, there is a zombie who apparently is behind the other zombies carrying a a, a large light and a fog machine. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it may, yes that yes that makes no sense, but visually it looks cool. So. He must be the har harborer of the hive mind because he's got enough sense to have the uh, fog machine, the light, and there, there has to be the intelligence with that to make those two mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a big theme with people having towels over their heads oh, yes. and playing peekaboo with the zombies. Three times in the film, individuals towel off, put a towel over their face, and when they bring the towel down, there's a zombie. This yes. happens to... A small-chested uh, woman in the shower. A man <laughs> in the shower. In the we shower. It, it turns out to be the small-chested woman. And then uh, <laughs> El Diablo Zul. El Diablo Zul. El Diablo Zul is the only one that seems to have enjoyed being in the film. 
Uh, yeah, Everyone seems really bored. Wouldn't you be excited to be El Diablo Zul in this film? Yeah. Until until his uh, yeah. until the end of the film. Yes. You know when you you told me about this yesterday. Yes. Yeah, Mike told me about this film yesterday, um, and he goes lesbian vampires and a Spanish wrestler, and I said, oh, we're watching Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. It's been great. <laughs> no, there's another movie with a Spanish wrestler in lesbian vampires. It's a thing. Oh. With zombies? No. Oh. Oh. No. No. But Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter has an atheist clown car. Okay. I don't know if I can watch it. It's got clowns. Can't do clowns. Right? No, no, it's just... Just the car. It, it's just a little itty-bitty car. Uh -huh. All the atheists running out of it. Oh. They all dress in black. <laughs> they do kung fu. Um, but anyways, yeah. I got off topic that time. Usually it's him. Okay, so this movie... Effects and a lot of gore effects are pretty good, yeah. except for when the blood turned. Oh wait, there's the purple. one point. There's oh. the one. No, yeah, but that was. I think that was a lighting thing, and I think you're. Uh, That's a blue filter. There, there's, okay, let's talk. If you want to talk about effects, we'll, we'll we'll mention two things. One is in this world, the human body is com completely made of chicken. <laughs> well, looks and then then it looks like chicken. But when you, when you bite so into it, it, like it, it, when you bite into it, it sounds like celery. 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 <laughs> and your blood is like. Yes, it was so obnoxious. The sound effects for this, it was like everyone's made of celery and their brain is made of jelly. Or apples. Everyone's super super tasty in this world. Um. Being smart zombies. But not it's a bad thing. Everybody it's consistent. Like I think it's consistent enough that you. It's accept it. Yes, the the. the Canada's full of very crunchy people. Very crunchy people. <laughs> Celery crunchy people. This is a Canadian And they have And they have Just apples right. in their undigested yes, apples. apples yes, in their intestines. In their intestines. Because yeah, even, even when you eat the squishy intestines, it Yeah. Goes. It's like, and you see in the intestines, you can tell it's really soft. And I was like, what is that? Like Albert Fish's intestines or something? It's got a bunch of broken glass and needles in it still. It's but my it's consistent. Crime friends will get that. But it's consistent <laughs> throughout the film. Right. So you just... Except it. Even the new worms when they're just in blood. The blood is crunchy as well. <laughs> well, meal worms do make a lot of noise. With liquid? They make a lot of noise. No matter what they're doing. Well, all of that. They're yeah. just a noisy little okay. pucker, I guess. Yeah. According to him. <laughs> um, this film, you know how I said. Uh, well, if you're watching this in chronological order of our reviews, I made a comment that Evil Dead was an advertisement for duct tape. This is an <laughs> advertisement for leopard print. I thought it was an advertisement for Lucio Pulci movies. <laughs> and Pulci movies. Um, we'll get to that. But there is so much leopard print in this movie, it's not even funny. Well, not a lot. There's enough. There's, there's enough three. to comment. No. No, there's more than three. <laughs> there is, okay, he's wearing a leopard print collar. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's the guy go that looks like Shark Boy. Shirok has a jacket in the earliest scene, which has a leopard print collar. That looks like he got from Forever 21. Okay, he's very stylish. And he's got a belt buckle that's bigger than his head. Yeah. Um, and then... Because he is the cool character. The guy... There's a sex scene... Vinyl her, bra girl. Yeah, with vinyl bra girl and her... I'm wearing mother pants boyfriend, and he's wearing leopard print underwear. Okay. One of the I don't that. lesbian, which one lesbian vampire was I it? think that was Valeria. Valeria. The blonde, Valeria. Valeria. It yeah, could have Valeria. Been Valeria. Um, she had leopard print, very very shiny. It was Valeria? Panties on. They're insanely shiny. And uh, in the background of uh, her two sex scenes, there is leopard print. Which curtains. are nearly back to back. Yeah, they are. It's like, oh, the guy just That's had sex with died. Yeah, and I didn't get finished off. I need to go have sex with the most annoying character in the entire movie. Well, I would, you really would have thought she had finished because when uh, she did seem to have a, some kind of vampire orgasm because she's doing this and it's yeah. all like LSD orgasm or yeah. something. Yeah, I went and got more coffee. I missed that whole scene. Yeah, yeah. And coffee. the guy, she ski was ski mask. Him. She yeah, ski who never takes off his ski. Mask. Because you realized how bad this movie because was. Because when, <laughs> when you're in a movie about the, the, the zombie apocalypse, wearing a ski mask is very right. important. 
I, and every time they shot back to him, the ski mask had slightly moved somehow. Yeah. <laughs> like when he was, sh- they were shooting someone else, he was like adjusting as, it was pretty hilarious. And you had problems with the boobs. I, I had problems. I had a problem with the lack of boobs because We, we didn't talk about, we, the you know, guys, we were, we didn't say a thing about the boobs. No. In the beginning, there's this guy the who looks movie. like a, he looks straight out of a full sheaf film. The makeup effects. And he's sitting there going, Warning, this movie has violence, gore. That's the director, Brian Clement. Or O'Brien. Oh, that's false advertising. <coughs> this has blood, gore, sex, it nudity. It, which it, it did. did. It just didn't have that good. It enough to actually talk about it. He, could have, added, he could have added story and it would have been just as accurate. Wait, wait, what, what didn't it have, have enough of? Nudity. If you're going to advertise nudity, I want to see some damn nudity. Well, there was the girl in the shower who was nude. She was topless. Yeah. There was Valeria who was topless and who was topless and <laughs> bottomless in two sex yeah. scenes. And then there was, I believe it was Tiamat. No, it wasn't Oh, her. Nemesis? Because I said of the three vampires, I wanted to see... I kept thinking they were saying PMS through the whole movie. That I wanted to kinda, see PMS. Okay, <laughs> we know it was Valeria's the blonde. Valeria in in in. Who was the short red haired one? That was uh. That was PMS. That was, no. The one who turned into no. mist. No, the red haired one that that had uh, sex with the ski mask guy first. Which named was girl? That was, that? that was Valeria. Valeria. That was, I thought that was TMS. I, I, okay. Who we at first thought I, was I have, Valeria. The sound was. They were all this. wearing like nylon or vinyl or. Well, the sound. Tense. The sound was bad. It's like, oh look, it's PMS, Nemesis, and malaria. I think the sound was bad as a compliment. <laughs> the sound was horrible. I think malaria would it have just been got an appropriate really high vampire name. Points. Extremely high. I mean, think about it. Like Diablo Zul. Diablo Zul. Diablo Zul. It's the Diablo Zul wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Suck at the wave. All right. Terrible news. Yeah. I did it. So, what was your, did you have a favorite part? <sighs> Let me think. Favorite. Okay. <laughs> favorite part. Hmm. The end credits. Oh. No. Oh, no. no. Um, oh, See, no, had, no, no, no. We had seen this before. I and don't, I don't remember you I don't, being as unhappy with it. I'm not. I wasn't unhappy. I, I think everyone was unhappy. I we found it in it. I, I, I found. I think. I think personally, and, and I know. Uh, obviously, they were doing it for the comedic factor. But when, when the those two characters, and obviously, I remember the vampire girl's name. But and in the background, Diablo Azul's like bench pressing. That was hilarious. Bicycle, and like <laughs> punching at the pipe. I, I think. I think Diablo Azul was, was my favorite yeah, part of the so. the whole movie. Yes, Diablo Azul. I had to agree that part because Nemesis is trying to come on to Shark Boy. She's like, oh, wait, wait, you, you never explained that, so people aren't going to know what you're talking about. Shark Boy? Shark Boy? It, you, okay. You, sh- be, you mentioned it to Shark me. Shark it doesn't, it doesn't count What's unless you say... Shark Horror? Shark? Shark. The cool guy. Shark Horror. <laughs> the cool guy. Um, so cool. He looks Chirac, like... Shark to me, looked exactly like Shark Boy. Taylor grown Lautner. up. He really did. Not like Taylor Lautner, but like Shark Boy. Which made the movie a bit more entertaining for me, thinking this was Shark Boy going through the zombie apocalypse. So Nemesis, uh, who needs to pose after every line delivery, she's groping him. And here's... I think you should pose after every line delivery just to emphasize. And here (laughs) is El Diablo Zul. And he's in the background. And he's like bench pressing as she's trying to be very sexy. And... I'm not good. <laughs> yeah. And it's, you know, it's kind of like, uh, the actress, I just, you can tell when someone's really trying hard to be sexy, and it just doesn't come off. It doesn't matter who you are. It looks ridiculous. And there was Diablo Zul letting you know how ridiculous that you look by benching a toddler's tricycle. And... I picked one of those up today. Was, you know, you do reps on those. Yeah, but I'm it's weak. it's 
you use, use the small, you don't use the, if you're going to do lots of reps, you use a small weight. You don't use a heavy weight. There's too many rolling parts on a tricycle. I'd be afraid of like pinching the fingers. Okay. Right. Well, that's because he is Diablo that, Zul. That's, that's your excuse to exercise. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll always have an excuse not to exercise. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is an HD. People will understand. Okay. You're just <laughs> <pudgy> <laughs> of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was your favorite part? Yeah. Because Mike and Joe and I have the same favorite part. Well, I think I, I think you claiming that was the same. You're, you're a, the same favorite part is just a cop out, but. Um, well, but it was a it was a good your part. Your face is a cop out. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. That comeback was a cop out. I really can't think of it. I gotta say, early on, I I have to say, mine is early on the introduction scene of Argento and Chirac. That was very well composed. Um, when they eliminate the. The, the group of zombies. Sometimes they use the visual effect for the guns, and sometimes they use more of a, like a strobe effect. And I thought that was done well. Um, I actually like that their characters had their names show up on screen, and which was a, an illusion to say that they were the main characters because then you kept losing. Them. We lost them for a while, but. What I think, and this happens a lot in films like this, um, a film can start out strong, an independent film like this, where you don't have, independent, when you have a no budget or a low budget independent film, and you're not relying on, oh, we have to have it in theaters, or we have to have it completed by this time, and you can make it at your own pace, you have a, sometimes you have a film that starts out strong visually, like I felt this did, in, at least in terms of that scene. And then maybe you don't always spend that much time on individual shots. And then you're, you, you, maybe sometimes you don't have access to all your actors because often you're working with actors you're getting for free. They don't show up one day, and maybe you just shoot additional materials. Right. Like zombie films are great films to you can pad the hell out of them, right? Because you say, tons "Well, of we're just going to cut away and show you, give you a." Because you can always say, Meanwhile. "I'm going to show you the scope of this zombie apocalypse by cutting away to other scenes." Right. But unfortunately, in, in this case. Those were crammed into the first third of the film, and we get to the point where we almost forgotten about the two characters right. they introduced. But visually, they those two characters were introduced introduced very well. No, that, that. Even if I would have liked to see that some of that style continue over through the rest of the film. I'm not saying other points in the film didn't mm -hmm. have style, but it's just something I see in films like this that start out visually strong and then shots become more and more utilitarian just you know working towards getting to the end do you think they planned the fire so that they could film the fire no you not question. okay so do, you, do you think like yeah yes that was not, the that, filmmakers were pyromaniacs no I, like, no I think I think if I remember from the audio commentary the filmmaker woke up one day woke up to that fire one day and just simply filmed it and I feel really bad for making fun of that. Um, Me too. The line delivery in this movie was... The script wasn't all that great. There were just things that's like... Well, you can have an okay... That made absolutely no sense, you what can, you just said. <laughs> you, you could have an okay script that, with good enough actors, could make it work. But when you have your actor obviously reading a teleprompter and asking the questions monotone... It really hinders. Yes, there were there was like whole conversations where it was like, so is he on your side? Is he not just because of the fact that? How did you create the zombies? I created the zombies with. It's like okay. Oh, I, you're a terrible monster. You have made abominations of science. I worked under the table. It's like come on, really? <laughs> yeah. 
But at least we had El Diablo Zul, who loved being in this movie and showed his excitement all the time and actually spoke with emotion, even though it was constantly like this. And great gusto. Yes. <laughs> gusto. Well, he didn't have to worry about dialogue. Right. It, he was badly dubbed in. All he really had to do was give a lot of He motions. was badly dubbed in. And boy, did this movie rip off Bolshe. Okay. Very terribly. The zombies, like the somewhat decayed, like white zombies, looked like they were taken right out of. We're not the cover of zombie. zombie. <laughs> um, in fact, the zombie that fought the shark in Zombie shows up. Oddly enough, it does. Yes, he shows up. It was there. Without the shark. But Which is. It would have been funny, like having him walk it around with a. Sure it would have made just as much sense to have yes. the shark. They even have mealworms, like, oh. in a skull, on a head, and it looks like the skull from, I want to say, the opening of Zombie. Yes. Yeah, ex yeah. almost to right, the teeth. Like, the, the mealworms coming out of the eye. It would surprise me if they bought it from a, a, like, a film prop website. It was, in, and you see the skull again at the end. Right. They made sure to get that skull in there at least twice. Kind of rip off Fulci. Yes. Well, I don't. You rip off. I would refer to. I mean, okay. The, the visual homage. style of the zombies. You're I mean, I wouldn't. Homage Fulci. Yes. Fallout Three. True. Yeah, but True. some of that was some of the design of the the visual look of the zombies is based on making some of the uh, effects work because the pastiness of the zombies, the make it made it easier to replace the heads in close-ups with plaster paris molds because you have the the bands not the band saw the yeah, the, the saw. table yeah, saw, the table uh, saw. Uh, you have el diablos who will bring down the Bring the elbow, elbow down. The car rolling over. The car, head. which was, I thought it was cool. I thought it looked good. Yeah. Sped, but it sped up a little more. But I you had that. Head. You had the lasers exploding the heads. So you did. Lasers. As yes, it is. I've seen vampires with laser guns. Visually, it, yeah, it is visually so, but it did work. I found them a little confusing. It, it, did it didn't make it. Lesbian vampires with laser guns. Yeah. It was like they had a dartboard with just a bunch what? of words, and they went, lesbians, exactly. vampires. It was, like, it was like, um, I don't know what to do with these two characters, so we'll have to have them encounter other characters, which is fine, yeah. and, but, okay, so we're going to make them vampires. Okay, that's that's cool. You're gonna, there's, they're zombies, so they're yeah. going to be vampires. I, I can accept that. And, and they're lesbian and, and whatever, but they have... Like Star Wars laser guns. Yeah, you yeah. recognized one of the guns. Yeah, it was yeah Han Solo's blaster it, rifle. Yes, yes, Because I had that as a toy as a child, and and there and I would have used a, 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 a the an older laser laser tag yes. gun, but because at least it would have made sense, and it wouldn't have looked like it was from Star Wars. Well, they wanted they maybe, maybe like they wanted that. people to be able to identify it. I'm the only one that identified it. Yeah. They oh, they were aiming it at me. But why wouldn't you have Still lesbian Joe. vampire? Why wouldn't you have lesbian? Look, if you, you why wouldn't you have lesbian vampires with laser guns in your film? You know what? Why if, not? If you can, I yeah. would in a sci-fi movie, but yeah. not in the zombie apocalypse. It's it's it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, like, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around why they did that. Aside from going, you're just disappointed that he didn't have a werewolf in it. I would have been. You would have been. You would have loved this know, film if they had a werewolf. And you in know the what? Tip. And they had Ter Taylor Lawton looking guy so if he was I didn't pick up on that I did not actually the whole movie it bothered me they looked like someone like he looks like someone he looks like someone and then she said he looked like shark boy all grown up and I'm like he he does but not Taylor Lawton actually I thought just shark boy well I always I've only ever seen Taylor Lawton in those commercials for Twilight and then and then then that horrible action movie they made with him it wasn't horrible it was it was it had Jason Isaacs in like the first 10 minutes I watched the first 10 minutes and the rest abduction. of it was when you were. Yeah, the abduction. Yeah, it has Jason yeah. Isaacs in it. That's right, it does. I hope that man saw it. Um, I wouldn't know. Much better looking at Taylor Lautner, but. Yeah. I don't think Taylor Lautner there's that attractive. No. But I'm so, how does he compare to Jeffrey Combs? To Jeffrey Combs? Is Jeffrey Combs attractive? Jeffrey Combs is insanely attractive, especially compared to Taylor Lautner. Insane. Even today? Or like Even today? Back in the uh, yeah. animator, pre animator days. His newest movie? He's wearing a suit. Oh, wait, oh. we're getting way off track. Here. What's his newest movie? His newest movie, um, he is, uh, Would You Rather. 
Oh, he wears a okay. suit. And he's got a nice mustache. It's not the postache. Yeah, I like the postache, but it's a nice. I think there's one movie that he's in. We're getting Kirk. way off track. Yeah, he's we, not we even are. in this movie. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but there is a way to have a film where you're just sort of taking a bunch of random in stuff. In her mind, he's in every movie. <laughs> no, he's not. I know he's not in every movie. Her mind is, uh, her mind is secretly, her mind is just <laughs> putting him into films. Well, no, no, actually, when you're watching one of this, it makes sense because she's thinking, because like, there's a whole scene with the green. Go and she's thinking that's like reanimator. So this is what's happening here. And meanwhile, over in Europe, no, I just made the comment that you can tell this is all scientific and in uh, high, highly scientific liquid because it's bright green. Did you think and they have scientific? bright green liquid in um, every like science gonna ray and and making these monsters every movie. That where they do that, there is there's a green liquid, all of them. It's oh, always nothing green but green liquid in um, Return of Living Dead. You got to be careful of green liquid. Yes, green wherever liquid. you go. Yes. So just don't drink the green cool. Okay. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. oh soil green. green. Yes, soil green. green is green. It's obviously. the color. It's not just reanimator. It just that's the color green because if you have purple, it doesn't look right. Listening, Oops, stay away from green jello and green Kool Aid. Listening to you talk reminds me of another theme in the film. Listening to me. people giving up and committing suicide. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> stab you with my pen. Early on, <laughs> early on, a cop goes. There's too many of them. Pulls off his mask. He pulls no, he off his him mask. In the mouth. He goes yeah. in the mouth. Oh. He pulls off his mask, but the other guy doesn't pull off his no. mask, and he has sex. This doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't you leave your mask on if you're gonna shoot yourself? Because the vampire asked him to. PMS was like. <laughs> She's like, leave the, I thought she was leave the mask on. Or, or See, we have no idea. Which, which one. They they announced them and they were all oh, yeah, so it terrible. Because like, PMS was the one who didn't get naked there. I was like, you know, she's actually cute. And not I just thought because that one she, was Nemesis that didn't get naked. I'm no, Nemesis off. was the one that needed a Vogue every time she spoke. I, I thought she was... <laughs> no, this was a tall one who, who wouldn't shut up and like thought she was the sexiest thing on the planet and was just trying too hard and it came off as lonely and sad. Okay, so can you think of any other themes that we noticed? I love to ask you questions. I, no, the people show. giving up too fast was hilarious because you would see like this one little lone zombie. Themes. It was like five foot four, maybe 50 pounds. And you're like, oh, it's too much. We can't handle it. And they blow themselves I did, up. I did like, um, I can't remember his name now, his car. The old fashioned car. They did have a really Shrug nice star. Shrug. car. Yeah. yeah. Shrug. It rhymes with Turok. Shrug. Shrug. Turok and Shrug. I liked his, his, his old old fashioned car. Mm. I think they could have used that a little bit more. Do do my wife a favor. Tell them about um, Argento's hair. It was just bad. It bad. was. Um, I think there were two angles in the whole movie that she actually looked okay. Yeah, like and the rest of the movie it, it was like, oh my god. Her I hair saw was what terrible. they were trying to do, but it was kind of like my friend just got accepted to beauty school and I let her experiment on me. It just I, I thought it was I thought it was a cool cut. I thought because she's looked a, bad. she's the um she's the bunch. she's the action she's heroiness the, heroiness heroine heroine of the film. She's so. heroine. She's heroine. She's total heroine. It's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Her line delivery was she's total heroin to Tomb Raider esque. I, I thought. She's the Laura Croft esque. Yes, yeah, yeah. she, she, Laura Croft. Um, oh, cool. Um, Indiana Jones or Han Solo esque female version. Um, I thought her line delivery was actually one of the better. Which actors. isn't saying. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine. The her and who the had, doctor. Who, who, Victor who had the best? Oppenheimer. Who had the best what? Who was who the best actor in the film? Best actor. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, okay. No. 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 no, no. I, Not counting El Diablo Zul because he had actually uh, technically uh, he had no line delivery. Who was the result. best actor in the film besides El Diablo Zul? Speaking character. Who was the best speaking? Character? I think of the people who actually tried, even as bad as they were. I have to say it was the guy that was there with Victor, Doctor. Oh, von, the the sniper guy. Yeah, Victor Duke. von. I could have called Victor von Oppenheimer. Yeah. Victor von Oppenheimer was the best or the, or the sniper. His, the sniper, because he actually sniper. tried. I mean, the guy wasn't, you know, definitely acting was not his thing, but he actually tried. Okay. And I had to give him credit for that, because everyone else seemed just, they didn't want to be there. It was like, 
the only suit, the only shot that worked was the last one. They're all waiting to, you know, go to lunch. <laughs> That's how I felt. How did you well, feel? Well, maybe they were just simply inexperienced. No, they were bored. <laughs> okay. Yeah, inexperienced like me when we made uh, what worked for food. You were no better. Idea. You were considerably better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not because I really had no idea. You're like Al Pacino. I remember, I remember working with you on your performance. Remember the hallway? Louder. Oh, for a little direct for food. Yeah. And then I said it all as one big long sentence. Slower. <laughs> yeah, we made a comment that they were like, these are the hipsters of the zombie apocalypse. It's like, yeah, but zombie apocalypses are so predates hipsters. This, this and is, also predates, um... This predates a lot of things. Yeah, um, uh, Fallout 3. This, this is actually yes. more in line with Fallout. And um, I mean Fallout, Fallout, the original PC okay. version on the Commodore 64. I kept seeing Fallout. it thinking Fallout. It, it, it definitely had a Fallout feel to it, but mm -hmm. it has the same feel that you'd have when well, playing they, Fallout. They definitely yeah. snuck into like abandoned buildings and things like that to film. You know. We would never do that. No, oh, we no, would I, never do that. <laughs> no, I, I get, I, no, I definitely get the impression that they probably had a, there was a, they had individuals or businesses that support. We them. film without permits. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there was a fingering line I remember that really confused me. Oh yes, I have an itchy trigger finger. I, have, I oh, can yeah. I can take care of that for you. What? <laughs> yeah, that just didn't you, make sense. It's like you want me to shoot you? I I, I, I don't get that comment. I'm a zo I was I'm feeling twitchy. Okay. She, it was like it was the lesbian vamp, the lesbian vampire with the laser gun, the um, laser gun. which was. Valeria wanted Argento to finger her. I really didn't catch that. I, that, I picked that. up on that completely. I don't want to know. It was, if you were, you didn't, you ladies, if you're coming on to someone, don't use that line. It won't work. It didn't, it didn't catch to you and it didn't catch to me, but no, it didn't catch to him. It caught to him. Well, you got to think, there's, this is, okay, this is the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> We need a joke. There's not a lot. Okay, there's. Wait. He agrees with me. There's a lot. <laughs> look, you don't. Look, when there's a zombie apocalypse, you don't have to be that subtle. There's not that. First of all, there's not that many people. There weren't that many people left alive. Okay, fine. It's a zombie apocalypse. You don't have to be subtle. You shouldn't be subtle at all. There, there's two guys left. One guy's crazy. You don't. The other guy is. They well, too cool to be even it interested would have been in that if she had just said, I have a place for you to put that. Oh, okay. Or, okay, that would have been, okay, I know what she's talking or about. But had, she said, I know what you can do with that. What? It didn't make any, yeah. Or if she said, I have an itchy finger, or a trigger finger, and she was like, and short fingernails. It's, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, I don't think that would have been as clear, though. No. You know what, though? It's because it was written by a very, like, young A guy who named male, his characters. Fulfilling Timon. some form of yeah. fantasy when he wrote when he wrote this, Argento is obviously I think they, in shark or shark. I think they were, they were fun. shark. Shark boy. Shark. 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 I thought they were fun names. I think this They're is. So I think the characters as part of a juvenile fantasy are fun. I think this is a I'm gonna make a film and I'm gonna throw anything I want into it. Right. That's exactly what they did. This. He. D they definitely had fun with this movie. And I liked it because of that. And they, I have to give them credit for that. There were things that were ridiculous, but I think this movie would have been great with some alcohol. Okay. Some Jaeger. But if we had... had Jaeger bombs, had we, we see a suit. But had we played the... If you, every time you see a, a zombie wearing a suit jacket, Marissa, we would have to come back. We wouldn't be able to do this for you. Marissa would be driving us to the hospital because of alcohol poisoning. We, yeah, <laughs> and, and since she doesn't drink, we'd be in yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be crawling to the <laughs> hospital. For I'd be like, not my mom, so it's three ambulances. <laughs> yes, ambulance. Because of, from alcohol boys. So can we say this is the the fun, if you're not... Fun, don't put logic into it. Not, you know, you're not looking to watch anything serious, but something fun. I take a shot when you see the liver print. Oh, okay. You, you get less drunk. That yeah, that that's a that's a little safer. <laughs> you, you get less drunk. But you're only gonna get four. I think you need to get more than four of something before you. Four? Yeah. Four or five? We're talking five. It's like less than a two hour movie. Okay. One shot lasts an hour in your system. Four Color, shots. Fun to get drunk. Underwear, panties. I know this. Curtains. <laughs> okay. Twenty four. But the fact they had leopard print curtains, I think that deserves a few more shots than just one. I mean, leopard print curtains. Where do you get that? 
Where do you get leopard print curtains? Oh, four shots is enough to get drunk. Well, it's Canada, so it's they, Canada. they could be everywhere. Okay, so, oh yeah. That, <laughs> now, what, was unique, hey? <laughs> what was uniquely Canadian about this film? Waffle fries. The extremely young American person in the newscast yeah. with the American and Canadian flag. Yeah, he looked like 20. No, it was the director. It was the director, yeah. Oh. Never mind. It wasn't the waffle fries? It was the I fact that the city looked fries. like Syracuse. Yeah. That, that was the most American. Well, you commented, I was like, oh my, we thought they actually filmed in Syracuse. There's a lot of skylines that look exactly, exactly like Syracuse. the same. Like, and um, you said, oh, they have a blimpy. And then Joe's like, well, we have a blimpy on... I thought Blimpy was Canadian. No. That's Tim Hortons, but we have those too. Yeah, yeah no, we have Tim Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's part have... of the Canadian invasion. Canada's taken over. Their dollar's already worth more than ours, so it, you know, all bets are off. I think Russia's dollar's worth more than ours. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Canadian also has a $2 piece, which has a dinosaur on it that glows in the dark. Okay? Canada and they call wins. it a toonie. Canada wins. Canada wins. Canada wins. I am moving to Canada. All right. Yeah, their money glows in the dark. That's got to yeah. be really handy. It's got a dinosaur. We're talking We're going about through a toll booth in your car late at night. I gotta get a... Oh, there it is. It's glowing. We're talking oh. about Canadian currency, so I assume we're done talking about the film. Well, you said there's something that was really Canadian. No, I'm asking you. If there you, was a guy who was like going on about liberals and homeless people and stuff like that. But that he was that doing was a, it's not very Canadian. <laughs> no, no, but he was or doing it any. so politely. Oh, okay. He was like, so, yeah. These lit, they, I mean, I'm, I have to say I am happy that these zombies are eating these homeless people and, and these liberals are whining about it, but he was I, I frankly do not mind. But, you know, I'm glad these zombies are here, and I think they're doing some good. He said it so politely. These zombies are helping the economy. Zombies they're taking care helping. of the homeless people. The, the economy. But, you, I mean, what was significantly... I'm a, I'm asking you. I thought Nobody said a. Hey. There wasn't a Canadian movie. Nobody said. Yeah. There's no reason to say. There's no one said sorry. Sorry. Yeah. There's no a. But no a. a no sorry. Because no zombie. Because what's the value? Be? The zombie apocalypse means you're never having to say you're sorry. <laughs> no, I have to say Ginger Snaps is a Canadian film. They never say a. A. You're gonna turn a. into a werewolf, eh? Hey. Hey. What was that, eh? Hey? Take some fake dead pictures of me and my sister, right? <laughs> they needed somebody and some Timbits. That's what would have made it Somebody and some Timbits. I have a friend that's living in Canada, and I can't think of anything that was very Canadian as well. Except for they no. said it's in Canada. They didn't even have, like, French words, or, like, like even, you know, I mean, everything was all English. I think that the director in the beginning, he was like, there's, there's going to be some violence, gore, or nudity in this there movie, There was eh? violence, gore, and nudity, yes. Just cause Not a whole lot of that. nudity, eh? <laughs> nay. Just a little bit of nudity, eh? Nay. Maybe for the rating system, which is a bit is a lot stricter in Canada, there I guess that would consist of this would be a pretty hardcore film. Like this is probably very like this is like Cannibal Holocaust for their rating system because their rating system is a lot more strict than ours. Hmm. A. I think mean, this was rated. A. All right. Well, uh, apparently yes, but apparently I, I remember reading and there was a there was a theatrical cut where there was considerably more nudity. No, apparently. wait a second. Apparently there in the, that early scene back up three steps. Where the guy was dry humping. Yes. You said something very important. I heard the words theatrical yes. cut. Yes. This movie actually made it to like an actual theater. Yes. Like an actual, actual theater, like a Lowe's. Wait, wait, like a theater? Or, no, like I don't know what a Lowe's. AMC theater. Like Look, my movie theater? made it to an actual theater, too, at some point. Yeah, but you don't have an actual looking... theatrical cut, which I think you should consider. Oh, okay. I think you're, uh, this is going to sound, this is me being a dick again, according to this guy. The more of these indies I see, the more and more I appreciate um, Victor Juliet's. It must be my plan. <laughs> <laughs> my subversive plan. It's working. Right. I'm trying to make her believe that I'm actually a filmmaker so she doesn't take off. So, so I keep showing her other independent movies. No, actually that would be, a, like, we should have a film festival and we'll show, like, Wolf Hunter, Wolf Hunter 2, this movie, a few I, I would, others, I would and just the like last to, one will I, show I would, Victor Julius. I would like to just make some good films instead of yeah. trying to... 
boost my film by <laughs> by comparing it to what else is on. I, look, I I I've got to say, I if you need, if you want to compare, I am more I, I am very impressed with the scope of this film. It's got a good scope, but it but it loses it as far as script and script, line delivery. Line There's delivery. explosions. You're in a movie with all these cool explosions. Oh, the fighting and choreography is zombies, And you, I sounded more excited in geometry tr class in high school. It was like, you know, the answer is 254. Yeah, the, the line delivery was, was actually bad enough that... It was so bad. I, I don't... I think it'd have to be ten years before I watched it again. Everyone was ODing on Valium in this film. Except for the people again. that, like, that killed themselves. Again. I can't take it anymore! There's this one zombie that's scuffling around yes. and I have... Oh all my this god, there's one zombie! We just escaped 15, but there's still one! I don't know what to do! Yes, he tried. And you know what? Guy who can't... It's harder to kill a zombie than a regular person from 700 yards because he's a marksman. Made absolutely no sense. <laughs> he tried. He was like, you know, fuck you. You can die here. I'm a marksman. I'm going to go out there and survive and you're going to die. It's like, no, it wasn't great, but you tried. Why wasn't... He should have played the part of Shark... I, shark... Shark Boy Shark. Shark. She I am not doing shark that on boy. purpose. I really keep forgetting It's what's that. in her head. I keep thinking... I'm goes. trying to remember Turok. Dinosaurs would have been good in this movie. Dinosaurs. It would have been just as random as anything else. Yeah. Hey, I gotta throw it in the box. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Well, I, I do, I, I, I remember when we were watching and they, uh, <laughs> they express, Victor tells us that the, the results of nanites, and I remember you saying, oh, I hope there's a battle with a giant, <laughs> giant robots, robots at the end. At, at the, the end. end. Because you, you're hive mind and so, I don't know if this comes from being in the DC comics, but I think there's going to be some leader of this hive mind. Okay. Like Queen Bee. So Borg. we're saying Borg. We're saying you yes, both Borg. would. Borg. You, you the Borg. Zombies are You both would have enjoyed this more if it went further <laughs> through and gave us a well, werewolf. I think once you start to hit absurdity and you start throwing robots the vampire, and dinosaurs. When you start to get absurdity and throw in vampire lesbians with laser guns okay. in Canada. Then yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> werewolves being in Canada is part of the absurdest thing. I mean, are who really believes that there's this other country to the north of us? <laughs> <laughs> really, or more importantly, that anything as in, anything as important as a zombie apocalypse <laughs> would happen there? Yeah, the zombie apocalypse happened would early break out in Canada. Yeah. I kind of like Canada. They have year-long haunted houses. I'd say, yes, yes, I'd say, I'd say, by making these comments, we've lost our Canadian viewership. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm no, surprised the unfortunate you. truth is we don't have a viewership. <laughs> if well, you're going to have, lose. if you're going to have absurd films, you need to go all the way. I want to see dinosaurs. I want to see giant robots. I want it. They could have had Cthulhu in this movie. Okay, wait. <laughs> Cthulhu would have been awesome. Yes. Yeah, but zombies are easier to make. Killer dolls. Zombies, you need Killer a plaster of Paris. Vampires, you just need teeth. Teeth. And they were good teeth. Oh, and rest. And rest. The smoke machine to make her go under the door. That which was cool. That was cool. That yeah, was, was cool. cool. I'm not dissing that. That was Isn't cool. That? Just said you need it. Werewolves aren't hard. Yeah, werewolves are hard. <laughs> they are very <laughs> hard to do. Talking animals. Talking animals. Talking animals. There should have been a cat. That oh. was causing the whole thing. You know what? It you would have liked anything. And it, and it could have been like the old Disney film, The Cat from Outer Space, where just the collar yeah. on his neck glows with the words, then you don't have to worry about making the, the mouth yeah. animated. I mean... Oh, Mark, how are you doing? And Dr Danny Trejo had to be, should have been in this oh, movie. Oh, Danny Trejo and Jeffrey Holmes should have been in this movie. Yes. Because if Jeffrey Holmes so, was in this movie... He could have just walked across the screen. It's like I was in a zombie movie. Here I am. Okay, this is... This, I'm playing this, a doctor. At this point, we're no longer reviewing a film. You're just we're giving <laughs> no we are giving tips for the sequel that, no no oh, there is there's, a, there's there two is more sequels there's two more which oh, yeah. scares me the because fourth one the next time i make it over mike's gonna say it's time for meat market <gasps> all right and a shark to puss shark to puss shark to <laughs> a shark to puss <laughs> and james bond which james bond uh might as well just go with the current one doctor who doctor who this <gasps> oh, you met that would be cool Alright, I, I... Which doc, no, like, which whether they stop talking or not, I'm ending <laughs> well, Tom, this. Tom Baker is too old really, these days. 
he is, but contributing like, anymore. Even so CGI Tom Baker would have been nice. <laughs> CGI Tom Baker would have been As the host he of the fiends, I say the zombies with uh, good night, and we'll yes. see you next time.